Good afternoon everybody out there in YouTube land. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're having a good day. Um, I'm bringing you a video here on a uh, build that I'm starting. This is the first build video for it. Uh, I did a review on this uh, several several uh, videos back uh, with like five other models. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and review it again because this is what I'm building and show you the instructions. And then uh, I got a few uh, questions to ask some of you that uh, maybe you can help me with. Um, but anyway, let's get started on this, guys. This is the uh, Killcraft, the 1920 Birmingham Tram. I'm going to go ahead and bring this box up here closer. Okay, it's in 172nd scale. All right, made by Killcraft. And that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, you know, they've got other models out there. I can see them right here, if I can get that to uh, come in. And I really never built Killcraft. I really like these little models. So, But uh, that's what I'm doing right now. It's what I'm building, as you can see, some of the parts. It actually came in two sprues, guys. And the, each sprue is exactly alike, you know. So that's the sprue that they came in right there. And you had two of them. So, And then you had uh, another smaller sprue. They had this, that electric guide arms up top, and the top of the uh, the tram itself. That was the only sprues in this kit, okay? And then it, uh, I did have some uh, decals, and here they are. I've had them in a thing trying to smash them down a little bit. I'm not sure if they're going to work or not, but they might. I won't know until I try them. I hope they do. So that's the decals for it. Um, and then uh, here's the instruction sheet. Uh, pretty basic and simple. It's the kit number K308. So it gives you a little bit about the colors. Um, I see it's using a primrose color and a cobalt blue. A deep red brown, uh, a gray. I know I'm going to use some white on it inside, but uh, they're showing what the sprues look like, the numbers on the sprues. And then, uh, as you can see, that's it for the instruction sheet. It really doesn't even tell you where to uh, apply the decals, but that's pretty easy to figure out on this. So. But that's the instruction sheet on it, guys. And then uh, here's the sprue, you know. That's one of them. I've taken some pieces out. I've already started on it. So you got two of them that were exactly alike. As you can see. But uh, I started putting things together here a little bit. And I, I can tell you right now, let's go to this sprue right here, okay? I haven't taken anything off. But you can see these injection mold pins, guys, right there. You can see, and then there's one over here. Uh, and you'll kind of see them here and there. This piece down here, right there and there and there. You know, and they're pretty big and pretty thick. And, well, they've got to come off because... And, and they're coming off pretty easy. I've just taken the... Uh, pair of snips and I'm snipping them down as low as I can get them and then uh, I'm taking my old trusty toothbrush sander here and it works them right off so as you can see right here grab this little piece uh, there was three of them on this so had one in this area and then up here and up here but uh, I got them off with no problem just takes a little bit of work that's this piece here is where the steps is going to come up as you can see right there that's this piece right here kind of put it in the camera there for the picture so when the steps come up in that area right there that's those two pieces then we're pretty much uh taken care of already and uh i put uh the side windows you can see the uh, track section down here, the part that rolls along the tracks. It's all electric, and there and there's the front. 
two-decker. There's a door there and a door there, and it's got a window on each side. And then the inside, that's what the inside looks like. Uh, I've left these separate because I'm going to do all my work on the inside first, guys. Get that all done, then I'll go to the outside. But the first thing I'm going to do is primer everything up. So, But this was a question I had to ask. Um, what I'm going to do here, okay... I don't want to leave this without windows because I've been looking at a lot of pictures and I can see that there's windows in these, okay, all along here. Now, these little gaps up here up top, it looks like there's some kind of a vent. Uh, I don't see any window there, but there's windows all in this, including here on each side of the door and then even in the door, both front and top or bottom and top. So, uh, you know, I want to add that in there and how I want to do that is... Uh, I've got some uh, real thin plastic. What this is, is this plastic is from, uh, I don't even know if you can see it, guys. But it's uh, for documents and stuff like that. And I'm going to cut one of these up, and I'm going to put them in there, okay? And they're going to fit the windows perfect. Uh, a, a centimeter maybe over on every side. But uh, that's how the windows are going to go in there. I'm going to actually use them in strips for top and bottom, and I'm going to do it the same way. Uh, here for the doors and then for these side windows. So that's where they give it a little bit more realism. And then uh, I got some real small wood strips, okay? And then wood strips is going to come in here along this bottom edge, going to come in a little, on the top edge, and then along the side edge here. And then I'm going to put a strip down between each window and uh, do the same thing for inside here for these windows and for the door frame. That way, when you're looking inside it, guys, you're looking in there, at least you'll see a little bit more of, of you know, it'll have a little detail in there. Because if you didn't do that, like in the picture here, on this, as you can see, they didn't do that. And there's no detail inside. So I'm going to add a little bit more of that in there. And then something else I'm going to do, guys, and this was the question I had to ask for you. I've looked at pictures, okay? And uh, I've seen some pictures where the people are sitting in here, and they're looking straight at each other, facing each other, okay? Uh, I haven't found any pictures which show, really shows the inside of this 1920s tram. Uh, and then I've seen some where they're facing this way, uh, but not very many. So apparently they must have seats on each side in here, facing that way. Uh, then I've seen another one where... From the center here, you had seats that looks like it was facing that way, and then the people on this side was facing that direction. So, uh, what I'm thinking about doing, <coughs> excuse me, if any of you out there know the kind of seats that they had in here, <coughs> one second, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um... I had a little coffin fit there. <clears throat> but anyway, let's get back to this seating. I know that I can either do a wooden bench all the way along here and then in the bottom and then put the same thing on the other side. Okay, because here's the other side of it right there. Uh, or I can put some little wooden slat fences, or not fences, uh, little chairs facing... Maybe three that way, three that way. Or I can put them all facing one way. But if any of you out there know how the seats was put and made in these things, if you could let me know, I surely would appreciate that. Because I want to I wanna build this right and put a little detail in there. So, And uh, if any of you out there know exactly how the seats were, if they had actual chairs or if they had benches or whatever it was they had, I'd appreciate it. So... If you could let me know. But uh, that was one of the questions I had to ask. As you can see, it's it's coming along. Like I said, there's that other side. Uh, and then pins on all these pieces so far, guys. Then pins. There was three up here up top. There was three more down here. Then big old thick pins. And then it had Killcraft written inside here. And then down here it said Made in England. So... All that had to come off to make everything smooth because if you'd be looking through the windows, you know, uh, you get this at an angle like this right here. When you look in there, 
you would see them pins along that doorway. And, you know, when you get the other side looking in, you would see all the pins. So all them came out. You know, I'm trying to hide all that stuff, get rid of it. Because it wasn't there. But uh, that's how I'm doing that. And I think that's pretty much it on this model. Uh, how far I've got so far. But then I got another question for you guys. I don't know if any of you can help me out here. I know uh, 1 72nd scale in HO scale, okay, for trains is, you know, HO scale is like 1 87th around that. And I know before that they had made a double O scale, which is 1 76th. And I think at 1 76th would work okay with this 1 72nd. Because what I'm wanting to do, this here Birmingham tram is going to go into a diorama. I want it to be uh, English, British themed, you know. Uh, and I want to have maybe two buildings, uh, part of the tram, the track, uh, the, the cobblestone streets, the sidewalk. You know, it's going to be a small diorama and this is going to be in it. But uh, I know Airfix years ago, they did some double O scale. I think they did some like some buildings and they did a few like locomotives, things like that. Okay, but I know that they're, I don't think they're in production now. So, uh, and they were all British subjects. So if any of you know where I can go look online into any of that, see if I can find some of that, see if it would work with this for my uh, diorama I want to build, I'd appreciate that too, guys. But uh, anyway, I think that's enough talking on this video. This is... Uh, this is video one on my uh, Birmingham tram from 1920, Kilcraft, in Birmingham, England, guys. That's where this was at. And I did know this. I know that uh, uh, they've got some of these trams over there because I've seen pictures in museums in and around England. So, uh, guys, if anybody knows anything about this, especially the seats, that's what I need to know more than anything for the inside is the seats. And then after I get this built, then I can start working on my diorama. And worry about my scale and stuff so but if i'd appreciate anything you guys can tell me you know i mean i know you guys out there a bunch of you know this stuff left and right so i'd appreciate the help but uh and here i didn't show this this was the top as you can see that piece that goes right there that's the top part but uh anyway i'm gonna go ahead and sign off I'd appreciate any input you guys can give me. And uh, that's the first video here, and it's done and over with. So you all take care. You have a good evening. And uh, I'll see you the next time I'm on here. Uh, hopefully it's uh, a lot of the work will be done on it already on the next time. I know i got to get everything primed up, and I want to get the insides done. So when I get that done, then I'll probably do another video. And then uh, I'll probably do three or four on this, and it'll finally be done. But uh, take care, guys, and we'll see you next time. Appreciate you watching, and uh, uh, God bless, and good night. We'll see you.